Live, the news you count on. NBC2, news at 5.30. They are born in the wild and experts say they will do anything to survive it. Uh, organisms. You, you take one, you put it in a petri dish with the right conditions, what does it do? <laughs> That's what it does, it explodes. Thousands of feral cats living in the shadows in Collier County. And tonight, one person who's dedicated her life to fixing the problem says she needs some more help. That story's next, and then all new at 6. All new at 5, cats causing headaches in southwest Florida. The feral feline population in Collier County is in the thousands. And as NBC 2's Brian Anderson discovered, the problem can be traced back to an old law. Cats, cats, and more cats. Three turned to six, six turned to 12, 12 turned to 18, which is where we're at now. This is Rusty Castano's Golden Gate Estate's backyard. Five years ago, she transformed it into a cat sanctuary, dubbed the Empty Meow Corral. And that's what animals do. They live out in the country and they thrive. Well, the problem is that, yeah, they do. They, they thrive too much. Sadly, it's only a glimpse at a much bigger population plaguing Collier County. It's estimated there are around 55,000 free-roaming feral felines. Animal experts say a cat can start reproducing at just six months old and have up to four litters a year. They're like um, organisms. You, you take one, you put it in a petri dish with the right conditions, what does it do? The problem goes back years. Believe it or not, the Naples Cat Alliance says it used to be illegal in Collier County to spay or neuter wild cats. That changed in 2009 when the county implemented its trap neuter release program. Domestic animal services statistics show it is working, but Castano says not fast enough. Again and again and again, and what you do is you multiply the offspring. So it's not just the mama cat having four litters. You take those four litters, and then those four litters are having litters, and then those, those litters are having litters. She tells us it's going to take grassroots efforts to curb Collier County's cat count. Start in your own backyard, just like we did. In Collier County, Brian Anderson, NBC2. A dangerous meth lab found...